Yeah, this is funny. So, um, I'm sure you guys have been keeping up with um, the election going over on Legions of Skanks, um, where they're essentially voting for a president. I think it's going to be president of Legions of Skanks for the next two years. It started up as a bit of a joke. Then it got serious and more people got added to it. And, you know, eventually um, it turned into a whole thing. Uh, many laughs were had during this time. But I think um, one of the most, uh, one of the more... One of the more questionable events happened a couple of weeks ago, or like a week ago, where unfortunately Big J Okerson was spiked <laughs> by one of his friends. <laughs> now it wasn't in the same way that Bert Crasher was spiked by Ari Shafir, right? Um, Bert released that podcast, released the podcast, released the podcast, released the podcast, released the podcast, but it was still um, fucked up. Uh, he was spiked with LSD, but it wasn't even something that was meant for him. It was actually meant for Ari, but Ari managed to slip. Um, the drink back into the vicinity of Shane Gillis and Big J Ogerson. And unfortunately, after Shane took a couple of swigs, Big J turned that drink into his and his night went from good to worse. And, you know, if you are familiar with Legion of Skanks, you know that Big J is a bloody, he's a sweetheart of a man. Um, he's not somebody that I would expect to be, to receive getting spiked well out of that group i think he'd be the person that would probably maybe behind dave smith i don't think someone like dave would appreciate getting spiked um and yeah man i just think he's the wrong person for it to get spiked but seeing how it played out was completely lows i've got a couple of the i think someone actually saved the timestamps on here let me see if i can find them on the video because i think the whole actual occasion was absolutely jokes um there we go here we go um the old switcheroo so from 45 let's go here hey, that was a very very sad oh, amount. i'll make him hold the balloon please <laughs> oh buddy that was see that so that's the drink with the does LSD actually in bother jay yeah. well that would hurt it that would hurt anybody that was a very very sad oh, amount. i'll make him hold the balloon and then he switches it and puts it so i, I already of course purposely did spike me if you think about it because they all knew right they all knew they all knew that LSD was in the beer and then they passed it over to Big J. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. He had no idea what the hell was going on. Please. <laughs> oh. God it's almighty. It's been a rough weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Here, back to camera, please. please. Everywhere I seem to be around Lewis Moore through this entire quarantine, okay. shitty things come my way. Big J drinks my a beer. My team lost the game. He ruined it. Be like, watch this New Jersey resident lose his mind. Oh, cops, my cops didn't have to get involved. God. We held our own shit. We, we both did what we needed to do. Right. There's the Angelo Deli normally that right. stays open and everybody loves oh, till 3 p.m. Oh, my it's been... God. And then the I'm sorry to the camera. Today. So, by the <laughs> way, you did not both do what you needed to do. You both failed miserably. And what needed to happen was you gave it. this man money and he gave. Now, I've got my own spiking story. Um, that was actually one of the first times I actually took MDMA inadvertently so actually um this must have been what early 2000s um you know the, you know i'm that kind of person that kind of keeps asking questions like, oh what is that what does it taste like uh, so i guess my friends kind of got agitated and annoyed i kept probing and asking questions so unbeknownst to me um when i went to the toilet they had sprinkled some shit into my beer and i had no idea and i'm quite you know as you can guess from the podcast i'm a pretty hyped um you know uh <laughs> pretty hyped guy from the best of times so you can imagine what mdma must have done to me especially when i didn't know i just remember dancing i was just dancing just going for it caca, 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 caca. left right left right fist bump fist bump fist bump shuffle 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 ooh, ooh, screaming screaming just having the time of my life i just remember like just you know biting my ear from my friends talking about all the plans we we're gonna do what festivals we're gonna go on talking about how much i cherished our friendship and how much i loved them just going on and on and on and then suddenly i realized as i was talking like my jaw started hurting i was like what's my jaw hurting and then you know it just started moving and shaking and moving up and down left to right just swinging I still didn't know what happened and then I think you know I've, I've, uh, later on in the night one of my friends kind of confessed that hey you basically took MDMA and he's like what the fuck and by that time I was already super happy and high and just hugging everybody right and I guess the, ev the rest of the ray found out I was on MDMA before I knew right they could just look at me right see my pupils aside of CD see my chin swinging but I had no idea none and that was kind of my roofy experience which is a positive one don't get me wrong but I can only imagine what it must be like you know 
during a pandemic, you know, especially Big J, he hasn't taken the whole, like, you know, not be able to do normal stand-up well. He had a bit of a difficult week too. I think this is the same week that he got pushed off the stage and then suddenly you're with your friends, you know, in a safe space that you deem it to be amongst your fellow comedians and somebody has now roofied you with LSD, which supposedly he's never taken before. He's never had LSD ever in his life. So you can only imagine what that um, that kind of anguish that you must go through. Because I swear, you know, being high on LSD isn't like MDMA. You're rolling for ages. So I can only imagine what that must have felt like. Let me see where it kind of, uh, I think it's 122, isn't it? Yeah, it's up to up here, but 122 is a bit where we see there. But he's got his roofie. He's just like, oh, I feel, feel bad for the guy, man. But this is a weird way to bond as friends, though, isn't it? I guess I know I know these guys were edgy and shit, but I don't know. I would not want my friends again. That was my first occasion. I must have been, I don't know how old I was. I was really young. And it, so it was a fun occasion with you know, no responsibilities. But, you know, working the next day or something and, you know, your mate spiked your drinks with whatever, like, you would hate them. Luckily, they're, you know, they're full-time comics, so it's not really that big of a deal. But still, man, I don't want to be kind of covering my drinks around my friends. I mean, that's odd, isn't it? That is from this. Lewis, have about you? I don't know, Lewis. You got a <laughs> one more fucking poll. Do you have another? Oh, let's go. And continue. Go. Oh. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> what am I doing with that hundred? Yeah. Another. Where is it? Where is it? provided by David <laughs> Hill. Oh, yeah. Legion of Skanks fans. You There's Ari Shafir pretending like he's high, which is very, you know, a very clever ploy. Pretending that he actually took Came it. Came on a good night. Sorry, mom. My city. Major problems. I think they need. <laughs> you through a me filter, but the people didn't think so. I've been so serious. Oh, here we go. What's the shiru? Come on, announce it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's real. Dude, Lewis, Lewis, a minute ago. There you go. He's oh, been looking at his hand like he's on. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Look at this. What you went? What? No, I told Jay. Go. He goes, Are we safe? <laughs> yeah, I thought someone did me. <laughs> there is it? Here we go. Personally, did not. Here we go. Where is it? You're right. Hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> orange suit. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, he, that was just no, no words. You said your shoes. Shoe that was. <laughs> Did you get it? Where is it? Where is it? Me. Oh, let's see the bit here. Oh, really? Okay, here we go. Hey? No. Oh, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> no, there's no way. Oh, really? Because I sound like I'm fine right now. Yeah. Uh -oh. Dude, can I tell you nah, something? <laughs> I thought there was something weird in my Do I sound or weird? Or do I no. look? Do I not know what it looks like? Wow. You look like I'm an acid. Uh -oh. You fucking <laughs> dork. I stand for mayhem. You don't stand for mayhem. Holy Enjoy shit. Enjoy your fucking Dude, no. life, bitch. I've never taken acid in my life. Yeah, Fuck. Oh, <laughs> Lewis! <laughs> Did this... Wait, this happen, dude? Wait, I was like, no way. No, that's that's actually real? Yeah. Get the way I swear to God. Send the Tony Award over yeah. to Ari. That was an amazing. How do you feel if that happened to you? If your friend spiked your drink, would you be friends with him still? Is this, this is kind of akin to me in my experience anyway. This is sort of like similar to when, um, you know, you see those pranks with people where they like slap boxes of food. I don't know if you're eating chicken and chips and your friend comes and kicks out of your hand. Don't do that to me, right? We're going to fight if that happens, right? We're going to get into a fisticuff. I'm probably going to headbutt you and, you know, ground and pound you to the ground, you know, like, you know, in more ways than one, right? <laughs> that sounds sus, but regardless, you know what I mean? Like, I don't play those games. I'm not with those shenanigans, let's say. And again, like, you know, just imagine being a grown up and having your friend spike your drink with LSD. Like, Jesus Christos. Not the fun vibes, man. Not the fun vibes. Have you got any funny spiking stories? Stories where you had an oddly fun time because <laughs> your friends tried to loosen you up? Let me know in the comments below. Weird way to loosen up your friends, you know. But hey, some people have that kind of weird sort of friendship, I guess. 